baseball is back, and so am I. Yesterday, the Toronto Blue Jays had their first spring training game, and there's many more spring training games to come. They got another one today. They got... They have many more. I'm going to tell you what to look out for in spring training. Players, something that a player is going to do, all that type of stuff. I got a few players in mind, a few things in mind, and I'm going to tell them to you. Number one, Addison Barger is a player to look out for. Addison Barger had a home run against the Pirates, and he absolutely destroyed that baseball. I have a feeling if Matt Chapman does leave in free agency, I'd be completely fine with Addison Barger replacing him. Because he's the type of guy in a few years who's going to be really, really, really good. He's going to just destroy baseballs. Now, the second player to look out for is Yusei Kikuchi. So, as you may know, Yusei Kikuchi definitely wasn't good in the 2022 season. And lots of people are hoping for a bounce back in 2023. I was going to make um, a bounce back video about Yusei Kikuchi, but I decided to do Barrios instead. That was like a month back or something. But I honestly think that Yusei Kikuchi, he's not going to be good. He's not going to be like a 3 year RA pitcher, maybe. But, well, maybe a 3 year RA pitcher. But I, I think he's going to be better. I think Yusei Kikuchi is going to be a pretty decent 5 starter for the Blue Jays. And, I mean, what more can you ask out of a 5 starter? He doesn't need to have a 2.5 ERA. Like, even a 3, that's really good for a 5 starter, I think. So, look out for Yusei Kikuchi. That's what I'm doing. I'm seeing if he's good. I'm gonna. Ma- I'm probably going to make a video all about Yusei Kikuchi and what to expect. Yusei Kikuchi is the second player to look out for. And now, this isn't a player. This is a thing. The bigger bases. That's going to impact a lot of people on the Blue Jays. Actually, maybe. this just It's just going to impact a lot of people. So, the bases used to be 15 inches. Now they're 18, and you can definitely tell the size, like, difference. I, in the Pirates game, someone, like, compared the two. The 18 looks so much bigger than the 15. And they're also flatter. They're also flatter. So I think it's going to make it easier for runners to steal bases, which is good for people like, like, the Blue Jays have... Not a vi- they don't have anyone who pops to mind when you think of very fast. But some of their guys are actually quite fast. So I think people like Bo Bichette, who Bo Bichette's an extra base hit machine. I have a feeling he's going to be getting even more extra base hits. And another thing to look out for, how pitchers are going to adjust to the pitch clock. Because you have 15 seconds with no runners on, 20 with runners on. I've only seen the pitchers, like, I've only seen... Yusei Kikuchi, Zach Thompson, and a few other guys. Um, Yusei Kikuchi, I've noticed that when he was pitching, he uh, a lot of the time he would get down to like three seconds left on the pitch clock and then throw. And I think that's a good thing for him. I saw this on Twitter too. I'm gonna if I pop, I'll pop up the tweet if I find it. It said that it's gonna make him not overthink it and kind of just pitch, which is a good thing for Yusei Kikuchi. Because he takes a lot of time, and I think, yeah, what they said, don't overthink it, just throw. Um, Yusei Kikuchi looked, like, in the first inning when he pitched, he looked not the greatest, like, normal Yusei Kikuchi, but then he got back. So, a little more Yusei Kikuchi stuff, but, anyway, so the pitch clock for people like Alec Manoa, who, I have a feeling Alec Manoa not, is going to be fine, but I don't think he'll have too much trouble adjusting. Kevin Gossman, though. That guy with the foot bounce, that guy has, like, a really, really weird delivery. I've I've noticed, well, not noticed, I've seen a few tweets saying that uh, he has stopped with the foot bouncing, and it's just a clean delivery now. So that could be adjusting to the pitch clock, or just he just doesn't want to get people, like, he just doesn't want to get balked again, which is fair. Um... So, the pitch clock is going to be hard for a few people on the Blue Jays to adjust to. Kevin Gossman, Kikuchi might have some trouble, Barrios might have some trouble, he likes to take his time. But, I think it's overall going to be fine, and the ban on the shift, oh boy, that's going to impact the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays were like, I think they had the highest shift percentage in all of baseball, so without the shift... 
like, they're going to have to, well, field straight up. So, I don't know if the Blue Jays are going to give up more runs or less runs. I, I was totally fine with the shift, but I will say one thing. I never want to see a second baseman in right field ever again. He's a second baseman, not a right fielder. Anyway, that's sort of what to look out for in spring training. Thank you for watching this episode of Hey Jays, and I will see you in the next one.